About 60% of the population in a cardiology clinic typically has some degree of sleep disorder breathing and or insomnia. And we know that addressing at least moderate to severe sleep apnea improves comorbidities. It can reduce hospital readmissions, can improve the recurrence of AFib if they have had an ablation or a cardioversion, congestive heart failure. In the pulmonary space, people who have comorbid COPD with obstructive sleep apnea, if you treat their obstructive sleep apnea, the risk of reoccurrence or COPD exacerbations goes down. Sleep is tangentially related to almost all fields of medicine. In the psychiatric population, anxiety, depression, bipolar disease, if that is unstable, sleep will typically fall apart. In the pulmonary cohort, that's true as well. The endocrine cohort, we get so many patients nowadays who have hypotestosteronism or difficult to control diabetes, thyroid swings that are just difficult to control. So addressing sleep sets the foundation. That is one thing that has been addressed, ruled out, and then the specialist can do what they need to do.